each helping hand kind of helps cut some of that grief away. A memorial service held today for some of those killed in last week's shooting rampage and claimed four lives. News Channel 5's Paul Kiska just back from Newton Falls tonight where there's been an outpouring of community support. Paul. Well, Chris, when you say the name Newton Falls in Northeast Ohio, two things come to mind for many people. First, the town's historic covered bridge, and then secondly, and maybe first, the town's 1985 F5 tornado that nearly destroyed that town, the state's first ever F5 tornado. Now, Friday's deadly shooting spree has devastated several families there and has scarred that community deeply. It's a small town, though, but big on strength. It's about remembering that they were about family. Aletha Buck's sister, Kathy Cogley, was one of the four people killed Friday. Cogley's husband, Ricky, and Cogley's 15-year-old son, Everett, were also killed. Buck said Everett's five- and nine-year-old brothers were home during the shooting spree by 55-year-old Robert Brazen, who police say also killed his girlfriend, Tracy Angler, before killing himself. They lost their mom, their dad, and their brother. So it's... It's a huge loss for any family to endure. Buck said her nephew wanted to become a Marine and was always helping neighbors. We've been hearing from community members that Everett would do anything. He would be out mowing grass for them during the summer, or they would wake up in the morning during the winter time and their driveway would be shoveled because here Everett went ahead and got up early and went out and did it for them without pay or anything. And that was the type of person that he had. He had a big heart. A memorial service was held today for several of the victims. A vigil over the weekend, a fundraiser tomorrow night. Buck said this community support helps. And the community just giving their love and support to us, it really does mean a lot. Each helping hand kind of helps cut some of that grief away. The grief is heavy on families, friends, and also difficult for first responders who had to see several violent crime scenes. That's a very solid community. They, they do well under pressure. They band together when they need to. During the tornado, they banded together. During the train wreck, they band together. Uh, a lot of support for the police department when this happened. We pull together very well. Cards are nice. Phone calls are better. Visits are wonderful. Just so that the family knows that they're remembered. And Newton Falls Mayor Mayor Waddell said that a fundraiser is going to be held to offset funeral costs for all four victims. That will be held tomorrow night, 6 o'clock, in the community center on Quarry Street in Newton Falls. Donations can be made at the Huntington Bank in Newton Falls. The investigation continues. In the newsroom tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.